so good thank you yeah honestly here you look good there big like scorn for me great and the big ways up high good yeah it, you at a relaxed state there's nothing I know staying. I know that so no need to do it unless you're like oh I don't like the movement that yeah. I'm doing then we could always do like Botox Dysport to soften the movement okay but if you're like I'm happy, happy with it, then I would say then continue on with with the Dysport because that's like Nothing kind of jumps out to me there. So, do you think we should do the um, the micro needle with PRP? Is it the blood? Oh, the, the PRP. Yes. Yeah. You. I would say next time maybe do micro needle with PRP. Okay. Maybe introduce the PRP um, like every four months. You could always do it. Okay. Or twice a year. That sounds good. Um, it'll just be an added boost to the skin. And I'm interested in appeal too in December. Yeah. Do you think we should do appeal? Yeah, I would say let's do appeal. It'll okay. brighten you up, especially from like the winter time. Sometimes yes. the dryness and the cold yes. will just be a nice just refresher for the skin. Okay. Yeah, I would say we'll do appeal for you in December. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah, I say peel December and yep. then next time you're thinking microneedling, we'll add in the PRP. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I typically, my frequency after I took the break in the summer, I think we're at every other month okay, or okay. once a quarter just because Perfect. what I'm doing at home. I use um, Korean skincare. Oh, great. Yeah, but okay. not the um, not the snail mucin yet, sure. but I want to do it once it gets a little bit more colder and drier. Sure. But I'm just using their regular line oh, and okay. I feel like... Yeah, they have great. They're great kind of skincare. way far ahead know, than us yeah. with skincare. Yeah, it's for great. sure. Yeah, okay. well, it shows. Okay. So good. honestly, like you could totally back off what you're doing here and do it, you know, every other month or like like once a quarter, like you've been doing. Okay, I think that's great. Okay, perfect. Yeah, because this looks so much softer. I, know. I was looking at like when you initially like started with us, mm -hmm. and just like your texture just looks better. <laughs> I would say we'll do the microneedling today, but this look this looks good too. Now, say if this continues to like bother you, if you're like you know what this is still bothering me yeah we could always do a little bit of filler in here just to soften this for okay you. but if you're getting by with the skincare and that's been good yeah you, i think i'm good yeah okay yeah, exactly love it yeah right. your skin looks great <laughs> currently we are two hours post micro needling and I wanted to talk to you about what micro needling is, the benefits of micro needling and how you can save money on micro needling if you are looking for consistent and long-term results. First, let's talk about what micro needling is. Micro needling is a procedure performed in a med spa that takes an apparatus such as a skin pin to cause trauma to the skin and the layers underneath to rebuild collagen. For me, my goals were to reduce hyperpigmentation, reduce fine lines, and also deep expression lines. I have been consistent with microneedling for over two years, plus my at-home skincare treatment, I have gotten the results that I have been looking for without having to use fillers. Now please, please keep in mind, I am not in any way, shape, or form bashing any ladies that get fillers but I know from the research that I've done once you start with fillers it's like a Pringle once you pop you can't stop and to be honest my mom was really the driving force behind me not getting fillers she voiced her concern and she said to me that she feels like I'm too young for fillers don't go through with those procedures because you would have to keep it up and she's absolutely correct I'm very grateful that I have a mom that injects her opinion a lot to when it comes to me and what I'm doing. I definitely had the conversation with my mom and that gave her the opportunity to give her feedback and I took it into consideration when it was time for me to consult with my med spa practitioner about what I wanted to achieve and how I wanted to get there with specific procedures. 
Now let's talk about the benefits of microneedling. I have seen a huge improvement in the glow in my skin, a decrease in hyperpigmentation caused by the sun, also my fine lines and my deep expression lines. And finally, let's talk about how you can save money on microneedling if you are looking for long-lasting, consistent results. Most med spas offer memberships. And what that affords you is the opportunity to have your favorite facial or procedure consistently. On a monthly basis, my med spa takes out my membership fee and those membership fees are used towards my microneedling every month. I have the opportunity also to choose from other procedures that maybe I haven't tried before but will also be beneficial and parallel to microneedling. Being a member of a med spa has its perks. Not only are you saving money, but you have the opportunity to experience other procedures that you wouldn't ordinarily try if you didn't have the membership. In a med spa, the best time to do any procedure, whether it's a chemical peel, microneedling, microneedling with PRP, any of those things are in the fall and winter. My name is Mary and I'm so grateful that you found me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can follow along on my skincare journey. I am dead set on reversing the signs of aging as I'm aging gracefully. I would love for you to follow me on this journey because we will be talking all things skincare, whether it's products, procedures, and even trips that I take so that I can have specific procedures done. I'll see you in 48 hours so that I can update you on what my skin is looking like and how it's feeling.